Matthew 14, 3 to 5 reads, Now Herod had arrested John and bound him and put him in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. For John had been saying to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Herod wanted to kill John, but he was afraid of the people because they considered John a prophet. In our era, where church leaders seem to quote only Romans 13:1. This text comes as a stark contrast, but also a necessary balance. The first thing to notice is that John and Jesus react quite differently to Herod's sin. John calls him out. Jesus never says a word about it. We each have our own calling and our own role to play in God's kingdom. We don't need to all approach governmental sin the same way. Some will speak out and some will submit. What we should not do is judge the one whom God has called differently than he called us. So here we have a wicked politician cowering before the prophet of God who will not just look the other way or conclude, well, there's nothing I can do about it. Herod Antipas has power, military coercion, legal strings, and the ability to inspire fear. John has the truth. Frankly, Herod and the people knew the truth too, but no one would speak it in the daylight because the price for such truth was high. John is certainly not Romans 13.1. He's more like Elijah. Check out 1 Kings 18.18. 18. And John provides a model of a different kind of government engagement by Christians and an acceptable one at the appropriate time. Frankly, though, John's condemnation of Herod wasn't political, but rather prophetically moral. Luke's account adds that John also spoke about other evil things Herod had done. Herod may have thought John's statement might foment an insurrection. He probably put up a fence around his palace and surrounded it with military. Yoder says, quote, Herod's putting away his first wife and taking in her place Herodias was itself a public political issue, as it brought on a war with his first wife's father, Aratus IV of Nabatea. Unquote. So Herod may have taken it as political, since marriages often created political alliances, but I'm sure that John's distress was the offense against God. Robertson comments that this was a blunt and brave thing John said. It cost him his head, but it is better to have a head like John's and lose it than to have an ordinary head and keep it. And in killing John in such a barbaric way, Herod confirmed everything John said about him. So here's the point. For everything there is a time and a purpose for every season under heaven. There is a time to speak against the government and its leaders. And there is a time to hold your tongue. There's a time to submit to the government, like Romans 13.1. And there is a time to rise up, like Matthew 14. You follow what God has told you to do, and you don't judge those whom God has given a different calling. Let's talk about it.